We're here with Annie Levine, a junior member of the Tufts Women's Cross Country and Track and Field Program, who ran in her first ever marathon in Reykjavik, Iceland on August 23rd as part of the Tufts Marathon team. She was the ninth female finisher with an outstanding 319.50 time. Annie, what inspired you to travel to Iceland with Tufts and compete in the 2014 Reykjavik Marathon? Well, the minute I saw the posting on Tufts Life about the marathon, um, I knew, you know, this is what I want to do. I saw, I saw the ad and I was like, oh, this sounds like a great opportunity to go see a different part of the world and also to challenge myself to do something that I've never done before. Um, I am an engineer and I didn't plan on going abroad over the school year. And the, at the end of last year, I was like, wow, people, like all my friends are going abroad and this might be something that I would have loved to have done, but I didn't really plan for that. So I treated it as kind of my abroad experience. And it also gave me something to push myself to train hard over the summer so I could come back to the season as strong as I can. It was your first marathon. Did you exceed your expectations and what were the keys to your success? Yeah, I definitely did not expect to do as well as I did. Um, I was shooting to get three hours and 30 minutes as like my ultimate goal, um, like what I trained to, to hit. Um, I trained in Florida because I was at a, I had an internship this summer and I think that really helped because I was training in 105 degree weather in the sun. Um, even though there weren't any hills, um, I think that that really helped transfer over to a really good um, fitness level in Iceland where it was like 40 degrees. Um, also I had a really great family support system. Um, they encouraged me and they pushed me to train and they also were like good with you know keeping food in me and making sure I was doing everything right and um, able to keep training at the level that I was training at. Your time in Iceland qualified you to run in the Boston Marathon next April. Do you intend to do so and has this experience opened your eyes to your potential in marathon racing? Well, until my body kind of forgets what it feels like as, you know, coming out from a marathon, I haven't really thought about training, you know, signing up for Boston, but it's definitely an option and it's, it's such a great personal achievement for me to have qualified for Boston. Um, I'm still in the thought, you know, thought process of deciding if I could, if I can do it or not. Um, but I've definitely, this experience has opened my eyes to the world of uh, destination marathon travel. So I think, you know, once I graduate from school, I'm going to want to, I'm going to try to um, pick destinations based on marathons and train and then travel there. It's like the best way to see a city, I think. What impressed you most about Iceland during your visit? Well, I thought that the whole entire program was really, really greatly run. Um, the person who organized the, the trip did a great job with making sure that all the people who were doing it had enough um, time to both train, uh, focus on the marathon beforehand and then also travel and see the actual country. Um, it was a really good mix of both. And I was also really, really just impressed with the coaches who came and like the staff who got to come on the trip as well. And also just like the, the atmosphere of the country itself. It was really great. As a member of the Tufts Cross Country and Track and Field team, what are your individual goals and hopes for both teams during the upcoming 2014-15 season? Um, so for me, I just hope to carry my training that I did over the summer into my season um, and come, you know, come back as str stronger than I did when I um, started the summer. And for the team, you know, just for everyone to do their best and for us to make it all the way to nationals. Well, thank you very much and have a great season. Thank you.